Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to play Mafia 2. This is the updated version of it, so they just tweak the graphics a bit. I've never played the Mafia game. I always wanted to, and then when I saw that they redid Mafia 2 and it was included in my subscription, I was like, Ooh, I gotta give this a try. So here we go. And I just played for the, like the first 10 minutes just to see, get a feeling for it. Just to make sure the recording was all good. And that my audio was good to you. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. Look how tiny who My father are. started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! I Stop! If they just acted natural, he wouldn't have noticed that. Vito, this way! <sighs> Throw me to bed! Stop! Let it shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? I was half expecting the alarm to go off, but then I remembered this is what? Back in the old days where they didn't have alarms like that? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way Please behind the lines. Yeah, Only three of us made. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. 
So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, they decided to return the favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? No, no, eh? Non è no. no, no. All right, Scaletta. Allora, traditori! Pensavate di poter giocare con noi? Di tradirci? All right. You and William take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we found the machine gun. What? You got a grenade, Salah? Great fucking time to use. Put a grenade through the window. Scaletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. But get off your ass and let's move. Grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. Whoa, holy shit. Okay, grab everything. Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. I can't get out of my way. Uccidete gli ostaggi! Bro, you almost got shot. What was that? Cut him down. <laughs> got him. I got shot. Okay. Arrenditi. O gli faccio saltare il Sorry, man. Oh no! Ripple! Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Give us a fuck, this keeps shooting! What the hell are you doing like that for, for you? No, 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 Hey, bye bye me, asshole! Take cover, you Shit, this balcony isn't gonna work! We gotta keep moving! Get inside! My family has a fan Get inside, Scaletta! You're gonna die out there! Come on, fellas! Find my self Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Bastate! 
dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! No! Oh. Ma camera! No! Che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Un'offerta da fare! Ma è che davvero Don Calò? Cacetto, un congetto quando siamo arretati come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiazzi del posto. Ci arrendiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me. Don Calo, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Look, I said he's a mafia boss. Okay. They're more scared of a mafia person than U.S. soldiers. Wow. Just because he told them to. Crazy. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. That was at least nice. Is that Joel? And Joe, buddy. Fido! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. Oh. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Sorry, Not like this place bit. ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? I almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? So uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Salud. Salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Oh, he's handsome. Vito. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. 
It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. Uh-oh. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no frade, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Hey, what's the good word? How you doing, soldier? A lot better now that I'm home. Y you want leave or home for good? That's, uh, classified. So, uh, what's new around here? Tell the truth, not much. Everybody just wants the war to be over already. And they're saying this is the coldest winter on record. I wish I had some good news for you. Yeah, you and me both. All right, I'll see you. Catch you later, buddy. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, so I was just saying, I love this old aesthetic feeling. Hey, Vito, look who's back. You're looking pretty good for a guy who just got shot. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Francesca said you were coming back. Finally, some good news, eh? Yeah, no kidding. It's good to be back. You know, I'm real glad you're all right. Neighborhood just wasn't the same without you. Well, everything still looks the same around here, including you. So, uh, what are you doing later? Eh, hey, you know, the usual cooking dinner for Tony and the kids. Oh, you got married? Boy, you didn't waste any time, huh? Come on, Vito. I'm 21 years old here. Of course I'm married with two kids. Yeah, well, it was real good seeing you. Say hello to your mother for me, will you? Yeah, back then, people before they turned 25, they would start to freak out if they weren't married and they'd have kids. I hope you do. Oh, uh, what you are having today? I got a cola, a hot dog, a sandwich, coffee, Judo's! Oh my god, Judo! I'm a good man. What? What was that? Please come again, yes? Yeah, sure. Man. This is, uh... Vito? It is you! You look so handsome in that uniform. Your mother must be so proud. Uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How is he doing? His poor mother was expecting him oh, home a week ago. Yeah, uh, Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? 
You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. There's Such a one. pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito. Are they throwing rocks for somebody? Where did it go? It's just one lousy beer. Crazy broad. That's what he said the last time. Then he comes home at three in the morning smelling like gin and another dame's purse. Hey, Georgie, come on. You don't gotta listen to everything your old lady says, do ya? George isn't going anywhere. Get out of my face. Oh, <laughs> that crazy broad's really got Georgie by the balls, huh? <laughs> hey, more beer for us, right? Let's go. Uh, excuse me, sir. You walked in on me. I was listening to their conversation. Jeez, but I think he's a... Oh, is there a fire up there? Vito? Is that you? Hey, Mr. Manara. You closing the shop? Yeah, you know how it is. Can't afford to stay in business no more. Yeah, well, the war's not your fault, Vito. Who knows? Maybe when the war ends, I'll open up again. Well, uh, good luck then. Hey, thanks, kid. No, oh, it's sad to see people have to close their shops. I'm heading to this blue marker because I guess these blue markers are places you can interact with. Yeah. Evening. Hi. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Oh no, I don't have enough money. I'm poor. Oh, I'm a whore. A casual raincoat and shirt. So you got a beige collar. Brown collar, white collar, or tan, probably. Then we got a casual. Was it blue? Light blue? It looks like. A black suit. And a ten suit. That reminds me of uh, Steve Harvey. He said, "Buy yourself a tan, a black, a blue top, same pair of pants, the same colors for each one, and then just get different undershirts, and then you can make like twenty-five different versions of suits just with those like three sets." That's so cool. Thanks for shopping. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Let's get going. Is that a dead rat? No, it's something. It it looked like it had little legs on it. I got distracted. I'm sorry. All right. Pardon me. Are you okay, soldier? Whoa. Hey! the time! You shouldn't be breaking a window. She is mad at him. Okay, 
nice little uh, swanky apartment. Oh, kitty! I pet the kitty? No, oh, okay. Oh, karma. <laughs> I was gonna be nice and pet you. And then you kissed at me. Hi, Mama. <laughs> I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sit down, sit down. Oh. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It it's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah. Sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benice, signore, sono Chiara, che porta la volontà. Siamo ci vengono, provino a fare che ci vengono. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. So how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, we don't want to talk about that now. Well, good for you, Frankie. So, uh, you got a boyfriend yet? Not yet. What's that? The boys in the neighborhood these days are not so good. She'll meet the right man one day. Yeah. Sis, you're looking beautiful. And you're an independent woman. Go get it. How are you, mio bandino? It must have been so terrible. I was so afraid. I prayed for you every day. I'm okay, Ma. I drove a jeep most of the time. Sometimes I had a fight. So is this where me and my sister sleep? Oh, look at my bed. So he's in the baseball. It's safari, maybe? I only say that because of the tree in that picture. It looks like a safari. Looks like it could be somewhere. Like, in like a savannah or something. I don't know. It's got a picture poster of New York and the train. Cross. Lagos. I wish I could zoom in. Oh, that must be him as a little kid playing baseball. Oh. And then. Is that. I was like, uh, me and dad are not much of sure. And uh, he's got a picture of a girl. And what that done? Is that a picture of somebody's. What? What is that at the bottom? What is that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you two in the morning. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. Yeah. A grown man and a kid's bed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm getting close to the 30 minute mark, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And I'm excited to play this game. Take care, guys.